another edition episode of Stand Up Spotlight. I am your host, Felicia Rashad. <laughs> We're gonna kick our show off right now with a very good friend of mine, a very funny woman. You've seen her on Showtime's Comedy Club Network. She works all over the country. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Liz Winstead. Thank you. Yeah, I know. Born and raised there. Went to college there for four years. Studied philosophy. Yeah, I think, therefore I'm single. Thank you. I miss the Midwest, though. It's great back in the Midwest. It's hard. My boyfriend's back there. And uh, long-distance relationships, they never work. But I figured out a surefire way to keep a long-distance relationship going. Just find someone from Iowa. Yes! It's true! Just go there, because once you're there, you're the best looking thing they've ever seen. Yeah. There's only one problem, you gotta keep them in Iowa. Because once they get out, they know they've been duped. So that's the scary part. But I live in LA now, I moved out there two years ago with all my stuff in my car, drove all the way across country, have you done this? I did it in a 74 Volkswagen. With an AM radio through Nebraska. Shoot me in the head. Have you been to Nebraska? I just gotta tell you, Nebraska's proof that hell is full and the dead are walking the earth, okay? And I've taken this trip twice. The second time I thought to alleviate that Nebraskan monotony, I'd go through Kansas. Yeah. Because of course the difference between wheat and corn can save you. And there's one major radio station in the entire state of Nebraska. You get this religious broadcast with the Peters Brothers. These are these two religious nuts. They spin rock albums backwards to find the devil message. And then they burn the records. So I'm listening to this, and the Peters Brothers are burning a Doobie Brothers album because Doobie's the slang term for a marijuana cigarette. And I'm thinking, guys, you're the Peters Brothers. <laughs> But granted, there are some records that should be burned. I'm not a big jazz fan. You like jazz? Yeah? People that really love jazz, like these really intense jazz guys, they're just way too into it. I think the berets are too tight, but they get very angry if you're not into it like them. Yeah, and if you don't really love it, they try to make up these stories to get you to sell and really love it. This guy says to me, you know, Liz, jazz musicians hear things other people don't hear. So do dogs. <laughs> that really gets your point. Because I like old rock. I think the Beatles were the greatest rock band ever. I do. You love the Beatles? Oh. The day John Lennon was killed, I was devastated. I was living with my parents at the time when I found out the news. And have you ever had your mom ruin a moment for you because she doesn't have a clue about what's going on in reality? She bursts open the door of my room and announces, Liz, I just heard it on the news. They shot Jack Lemmon. <laughs> I mean, the woman's out of her mind. She's 67 years old, Catholic. You can never tell her the entire truth because it's just too hard to explain. She thinks I'm a nurse in Delaware, okay? We just kind of let her believe it's just this year. But it's scary. I go home once a year at Christmas, you know, and, and, and she's always just around and bothering me. Yeah, I mean, she's helping me unpack translation, digging through my stuff because they love that. She finds my diaphragm. I had to tell her it was a bathing cap for my cat. if she could get one, so. I told her a Tupperware party. It worked out. And she's just lost it. We have five kids in our family. We've driven her absolutely out of her mind, so forget it. And Christmas Day, she walks into the living room and announces to our family, you know, someone's been rearranging the ornaments on my tree. <laughs> really, Mom? Why don't you put your underwear on the inside of your clothes now? Okay, let's try that. And take the dog out of the oven. We're pretty sure he's not the devil. <laughs> but we've all sort of repented now, and it was her birthday this year. <laughs> I guess it is every year. Um, on her birthday, we decided, okay, we'll do whatever you want, Mom, for your birthday. We're going to all chip in, take you wherever you want to go. Well, let me advise you, never do this, because you have to go with, okay? We had to take her to go see Sammy Davis Jr. in Reno. I can't hear Candyman anymore, okay? <laughs> 
I mean, my mother absolutely loves Sammy Davis. She's seen him 20 times in 20 different cities. She's got the tour jacket with the eye in the back, the whole thing. She's just right there. She loves this guy. Oh, yeah. She's a Sammy head, if you will. Yeah. Well, it's like a deadhead, only different sandals. Okay. Do it. So we get through the concert. I get through Candyman. I think, all right. You can't get any worse than Candyman. Well, no sooner did those thoughts pass through my cranium did Sammy Davis Jr. break out into walk like an Egyptian. <laughs> Can you think of anything more pathetic and less entertaining in your life? Maybe Ethel Merman doing ACDC. Maybe that. I'm on the highway to hell. I think that pretty much do it for me. amazing but a lot of people start in like reno and vegas and stuff i mean the first time i ever did comedy i opened up for a blues band at a biker bar yeah it was the only bar i'd ever been to where they have jack daniels on tap <laughs> and it was very smoky in there it's like the smokiest place i've ever been a lot of smokers in here no i used to smoke and then i quit and now i borrow <laughs> But these biker guys smoking with those beards and the ashes and the beards, they're just gross. And if you see these guys, they'll be smoking and they will use their pants for an ashtray. You got the option of the floor and you. And you choose yourself. That's like saying to a dog, no, no, not on that hydrant. Right over here with that. Yeah. And in LA, everybody's very health conscious. You know, I just can't get into it. The aerobics, I, do you do aerobics? I don't understand the concept. It's like, how many socks can you put on one leg? <laughs> and they make it very easy for you, too, to do the aerobics. They do. If you, and if you don't want to do aerobics, they always have the surgery. So if you're really lazy, you can just have it all cut off, which is really nice. In fact, you can have a breast enlargement in L.A. in a shorter time than it takes to have your car oil changed. Yeah, they have jiffy boobs all over Southern California. <laughs> Thanks a lot. You guys were terrific.